All right. I know my boyfriend won't propose until he can get the ring that I want. I have money for it now. Can I buy it so he will propose already? Oh, man, don't do it. <laughs> That's a kick in the nuts. Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome to Pop the Question. I'm Jonathan. I'm G. I'm the Joe. And I'm the Pro. So here on Pop the Question, we take all the questions that you guys have, kind of like the locker room behind the scenes talk of all things engagement rings, proposals, and so forth. So let's get into it. All right. Does the size, cost, or quality of an engagement ring say anything about the relationship? That's a good question. I think it does in some ways. So there are some women or there are some people that it's like, it's all about me and it was what's meaningful for me. There are other people that look at an engagement ring and it's like a status symbol. And that used to be, I even feel like that used to be an old school kind of thing because it's like, if you had it, you know, you had a stone of a certain size maybe, right? Right. And it was like, whoa, like that's like, it's like having a house with a certain kind of curb appeal or driving a certain kind of car. But um, you know, one thing I do think is interesting too though, is that we have so many more options now than we've ever had. So like, I'm just saying even just, if it looks like a diamond, and there's a mine diamond, a grown diamond, a diamond like moistener that looks like a diamond. So I kind of feel like it's, uh, I find it crazy refreshing because it's like people can choose something for what they like more for them more than ever before. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Honestly, the more the more you were talking, the more confused I got because I, I would have been like, oh no, not at all. But I mean, if, if you really, really love somebody, are you going to get them uh, the dinkiest diamond, the worst quality, the smallest? Thing? No, like I know when I was trying to find a ring, I was trying to get as much as I possibly could within my budget. So maybe it does say a little something about the relationship. If you love somebody, you really care about them, you're not going to get them just the cheapest thing. Maybe. Or, you know, alternatively, I don't know. So hopefully you're not in a room with your friends with bigger rings thinking that they like you more. All right, my girlfriend keeps giving me ring designs, but I have a family ring that's been passed down for generations. Oh, this is a good one, man. Which ring should I give her? That's that's a tricky one. I mean, I guess the question is, I mean, there's a lot of things that come into play here. Like, does your girl know about this? Like, does she know that there's a ring that's been passed down? Is it really old and ugly? Is it completely different from any style that you know she wants? Um, there's definitely that sentimental element, but I don't know. I think maybe that might be a conversation that you have to have beforehand. Don't just surprise her on a knee with your grandma's ring, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I think of like actual scenarios, and so we've seen a few, okay? So sometimes it's like, completely sentimental, okay? Yeah. There's like, there's a huge story behind it, okay? And being passed down. There are also other ones where it's 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 like, it's more economical than sentimental. It's like, it's sentimental, but it's also that like, hey, we can get this stone and I don't have to pay for it, right? right? Totally. So there, that, that's like a really common one. I might even say that might be more generally, okay? But I'll, I'll call it 50-50. Like the other one that you could think about is like, um, the there's a redesign option okay meaning like pop it out put it into a new design at least that you guys sure. do, that she likes or do together Miriam seems somewhat sentimental if you would have given her a ring a family ring do you think <sighs> yeah yes and no I feel like they're sentimental but then there's a certain point I feel like um, they just don't like what they think it's like the sentimental thing can sometimes wear off on people like right. short-lived you know it you know it depends on you because there are other people that are like complete romantics about it and that's totally. they love that like they'll they'll be like forget everything i had i just love what it is so you know her so and she's singing sending you ring designs and it's like the complete opposite end of the spectrum maybe have the combo yeah have, let's have some common common sense too all right i know my boyfriend won't propose until he can get the ring that i want I have money for it now. Can I buy it so he will propose already? Oh man, don't do it. <laughs> That's a kick in the nuts. I'm always just fascinated by people, relationships. Yeah. Um, I've always tried to even just see, hey, is there something that I can look at and say, hey, when we see this kind of pattern or relationship or something, it doesn't work out. There's two traits I've seen that are not good signs. Now I'm gonna get some flack on it because if you're one of the people that Fit this and it worked out. You're There's like, always yeah, exceptions. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so here's the thing. Number, number one, really small exception. Um, in hetero relationships where women propose to the guy, okay? Very, very small percentage. 
very high likelihood. I'm going to say like over 70% that it's not going to work out in five years. I don't know why. I've just seen it happen. Okay. okay? I'm just observing. Okay. I'm just an observer. So for whatever reason, when that happened, it has not worked. Okay. The other one is the one where, um, and again, I'm going to say it's hetero. Um, the girl pays for her rent or a big chunk of it for whatever reason, when I've seen that happen, yeah, I'm going to say like over like 60, 70% chance it's not going to last five years. We just seen it happen. It's totally. just, um, I don't know why, but we've seen it. And so there seems to be, uh, like, I'm not going to say a causal, but there, there is a, what they call a correlative, a very correlative, uh, relationships, meaning that that seems to be pointing to something that is not good. Yeah. I would say don't do it. I mean, let the guys go on our own pace. We have reasons, but like it's a little, honestly, a little bit emasculating. If, if someone's like, Hey, I bought this ring. Will you propose to me? It's, uh, I don't, I don't like that at all. All right. My girlfriend wants to control when and how the proposal will take place. All right. Is that weird? Should I do what she wants? Uh, let me just say, probably if you do what she wants now, you'll be doing what she wants for the entirety of your marriage. Uh, is it weird? I mean, you know, look, some people want the fairy tale Hollywood. Oh, it's going to be Christmas Eve and my family's going to be there. And it'd be so cool if at the bottom of the banister or the staircase. But like, you can only control so much. I, I don't know. If, I don't, I, you got to know the relationship, but if Andrew is Listen, laying man, it out, I don't think I could I do it. Here's what I see is that, um, you know, something like that, like for me, makes me, would make me cringe. I'd be like, oh man, don't control me. I'm like. I have my own issues that I never want to be controlled by anybody. Okay. And, um, so there's parts of me that just cringe, but then, you know, what I've also realized is that there is someone out there for everybody. I'm not going to judge you. It wouldn't work for me ever. I would never do it, Same. but, um, but I have seen couples where it works and it just seems to be like, you know, I don't know. And yeah, there might be exceptions here, here and there. Like if you, if it was close to happening or you were planning on doing it anyway, I don't know, know the relationship. If it's really going to make her happy and it's, I don't know, it almost raises that question. Who's the proposal for you or them, right? Sure. My soon to be in-laws insist on going ring shopping with me. They're really excited, but I want to shop on my own. What should I do? I'm more diplomatic about this in that, you know, you could buy a lot of grace just by and just you know letting them have the experience it is like you know i've heard one person say that you know when your parents are like um doing it it's like getting into the thing of seeing their kid get married it's like they're kind of celebrating like they've kind of built this product right that they finally get the chance to kind of sell in a yeah. sense and it's like it's an experience for them. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those situations where I think whatever is part of the engagement process is gonna be magnified within the marriage. So, I mean, if they wanna be a part of it, cool. Maybe give them here, bits and pieces here and there, but boundaries. You're gonna be with these people for the rest of your life, so. This is true. If you can maybe give them a little bit without giving them the whole thing, you know, yeah. play the game. All right. Marriage is an agreement between two people. Is it bad if I ask my partner to split the cost of an engagement ring? <laughs> uh, I know, I know people on dates don't like splitting the check for dinner, let alone an engagement ring. Um, especially if you talk about one of those, those factors of like when people contribute a lot of money, the relationship not working, I, I wouldn't do it. I would say maybe, maybe the wedding bands because I know for Angela and I, it was like, okay, we're going to be joining our finances together. That makes sense. And it's like, yeah, yeah, we definitely see it all more with wedding It's a wedding ring. cost at that point. Yeah. The bands are, but like engagement ring, tread lightly. I just, don't do it, man. It's just, uh, it, it, it's, uh, listen, it's like, um, everyone wants to, wants to just be like, Hey, marriage is all about 50, 50, but it, it, reality is like, man, there are just some things that like, yeah, I don't think engagement ring is one of those things that you Go all in at least once, right? Yeah, yeah, do it. It's your moment. Well, there you have it. Those are our questions today for Pop the Question. We want to know what your questions are. So make sure you like, subscribe, give us uh, any of your questions on, in the comment section, and we'll be happy to answer them one at a time. All right. All right, see you guys.